Hello there! Welcome back to Two in Flames League. Hope everyone watching is having a wonderful day. If you're new here, my name is Dania, one of the hosts on this channel, and we're here to help you with your Twin Flame journey. In today's video, we'll be talking about what you can do when you miss your Twin Flame. Yes, I get it. There's nothing worse than missing a Twin Flame and feeling like there's nothing you can do about that. Especially when you're in the no contact or the separation phase. It can be very painful since you're used to having the sole connection with your twin flames. But every problem has a solution. And if you're in this phase right now and you simply don't know how to handle all of this pain, waiting and feeling like your hands are tight, we have a few tips that will help you feel better. Or at least for a little while. So let's get into it. First thing first, you'll have to embrace your feelings because trying to ignore your feelings is a recipe for disaster. They'll come back with vegans and hit you even harder. So what's the solution? Sit with them, let them sink in and don't run from them. I know this sounds scary, but stick with me. Like it may hurt for a bit, but after a while, you'll start to notice the intensity of your feelings will start to fade. And that's the whole point. Like you're not trying to make yourself uncomfortable. You're actually trying to feel more comfortable like in your own skin. Next is to make peace with the current situation. Let's face it, sometimes life can get in the way of finding true love with a twin flame. Maybe they're hitched up with someone else or maybe you're in a relationship that you can't just leave. And sometimes they could be living on the other side of the world and so on. But don't worry, it's all good. Like the best thing you can do in these situations is to just accept that it's not the right time for you two to be together. I know it can be tough, but try to focus on the bright side. Because who knows, like maybe in the future, the stars will align and you'll finally get your happily ever after. So just keep the faith and hold on to the hope that one day, you and your twin flame can love each other unconditionally. Moving on, you have to give yourself plenty of time to heal. This is very important. As I've mentioned, Trying to avoid your feelings and emotions is like running from a storm. It's just gonna catch up with you and eventually, when it does, it's gonna hit you even harder. So it's time to face the music and take some time to heal. I know it can be tough, but it will be worth it. To help you get through this difficult period, you should give yourself space and time to heal like it might take days, weeks, months or even years to heal. And as for me, I thought it would take more than just a few months at least to heal during my previous breakup. But no, it actually only took me about a week. I guess it all depends on how you deal with it. Maybe spend some time by yourself, do some meditating or even talk to an expert on the subject. Yes, a therapist. There's nothing to be ashamed of. One's gotta do what one's gotta do. Or you can just talk to your friends and family. Healing takes time and effort, but the payoff is worth it. You'll come out the other side feeling refreshed and ready to tackle whatever life throws at you. To stop yourself from constantly missing and thinking about your twin flame is to distract yourself by doing things that you enjoy. If you've been feeling down lately and have forgotten all about your hobbies, it's time to bring them back into your life. Think about what makes you happy and set aside some me time to enjoy those things. Take a spa day, get a massage, treat yourself to a manicure or pedicure or do anything really that makes you feel good. You'll be amazed at how much better you'll feel. And while you're at it, why not watch some of your favorite movies? You know, catch up on those books you've been meaning to read or Blast the music and dance your heart out. It's all about finding what works for you and enjoying the moment. Besides that, you can spend time with people you love. Call up your parents, have a chat with your siblings, or pay a visit to your family home and reminisce about the good old days. Trust me, it will remind you of who you used to be and give you the strength to get back on track. And while you're at it, why not pay a visit to your grandparents and hear their love stories? They'll give you some insights into how they overcame tough times and might just shed some light on things you never knew about them. Remember, you're never alone and, and they're always going to be people who care about you. You can also connect with other people, new people. Like feeling the pain and heartache of missing a twin flame and can make you want to become a hermit. But surprise, surprise, 
that only make things worse. Instead, step out of your comfort zone and make some new connections. You know, meet new people, explore new places, and don't be afraid to reach out and connect with others. You'll be surprised to find that many others are going through similar struggles and it can give you a fresh perspective. Anyway, who knows, you might even pick up you know, new ideas on how to reconnect with your twin flame and finally let go and move forward. Don't let the pain hold you back from making new memories. The next thing you can do is to improve your relationship with yourself. It's not just about connecting with your twin flame, it's about connecting with yourself first. And trust me, once you get your relationship with yourself in check, the sky's the limit for the happiness and fulfillment you feel. Not just within yourself, but with your twin flame too. So don't neglect this crucial connection and start loving on yourself. But how do you even, you know, start loving yourself? What do you even need to do? One way is to do the inner work. Mirroring energies with your twin flame can be a wild ride. It can be amazing or not so amazing depending on what you're both going through. But if you're not, the solution is all about doing some inner work. We're talking about figuring out what's holding you back from, you know, like being your happy self. Think about those limiting beliefs that are getting in the way of your joy. It's all about shifting your mindset, becoming more self-aware and realizing what's driving your action and emotions. Once you've done the work, you'll be sending out positive vibes and who knows, maybe it leads to a reunion with your twin flame in the future. So there you have it, eight things you can do when you miss your twin flame. But of course, you know, these are not the only solutions available to you. Good thing is we have a full article on this topic that you can check out. Simply click the link in the description box below. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our Twin Flame content. And if you do have more questions about your Twin Flame connection, you can check out our Twin Flame Psychic Robot. It's a new tool that gives you personalized answers about whatever is happening in your Twin Flame journey. Simply visit our website at twinflamesy.com. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next video.